Wait a minute, I just, uh, rather than have a game fight here, I said, why don't you let your big boy there start the game? I mean, you started the damn thing back at Beast. Fight me. And they all laughed their bums off, but thank you. Everybody I was with was bigger than me. So they all laughed. And, and, uh, so he said, Sherry, sure. he says, uh, okay. So we were in a gas station. Of course, it was closed. And, and they gave us a big ring to fight in. We surrounded, uh, you know, on both sides. And, uh, so he came at me. And, you know, uh, I uh, had a cigarette. My mom had flicked it to the side, and his eyes followed my cigarette a little bit. So I nailed him and hit him three more times. I knocked him out, busted his nose, busted his cheek, and busted his jaw. And then, like the first punch, I hit him up here in the temple, and his hair came right over his damn head. He turned purple. And, uh, and, uh, and it took it took all six of those guys to carry him into the car. In fact, I think some of our guys. Well, one of their guys had a flashlight, and he would try to hit me when I was on top of this guy. You know, he, he uh, was going to hit me in the head. Well, Jim grabbed him, and uh, like I said, my back. He had my back covered all the way, and. Uh, and, uh, so, and that's why Jim was involved with this whole thing. And so when he came up to visit me, uh, they threw him right in the cell with me. I said, if I wanted to get the white guys, I could have gotten every dance team, all the guys, all the ball teams, I could have gotten everybody down there. I said, but I said, I didn't want a racial fight. And I said, that's why I came down here by myself. I want to fight. You pick out whoever you want to fight and fight me. And uh, and then this red-haired guy. Came that's up. a good point you brought up there that from that you just said, Elizabeth, in that era, there was no race. We, the no, blacks, we, didn't we, weren't, we didn't hate blacks and they didn't hate us as far as it is now. You know, so I'm offering these guys up to pick out who the hell they want to fight me. And they're all talking about it. So all of a sudden, my sister yelled, Dummy, Dummy, here Craig and my sister have come down the stairs and was in the basement. And they're by the damn door going up upstairs. And I says, What the hell? And, and I, for him bringing Sharon down there was terrible. But he wanted to protect me. So he comes down there. And, uh, and that's the kind of friend, I mean, you know, shit. And, uh, but anyway, nobody would uh, take me up on the fight. Uh, and uh, so we walked out. Uh, they got me, him and my sister got me out of there. What did, what did your folks think about you guys? <laughs> there we go. That's a damn good question. The funny thing is, his mom thought, with our two families... My mom was crazy. Yeah, but she... I got to get this right now. My dad knew damn right that Tom and I, each one of our families thought the other one was at fault. But but one parent knew better. One parent. One, one parent. See, I was growing up as an only child with, with, a, with a dad and two mother and two aunts all telling me what to do. This is a psychiatrist said that when I got out of the workhouse the first time, I got Glenwood Hills for every weekend. My dad had to go with me. And he said, I don't know why the hell I have to go because the kids are the one that's a problem, you know. But and, the, and the judge put it in court, this is court order, that him and I could not be seen on the street together because he was such a bad influence on me. Well, I'll tell you what, my dad was really out to picture because he was an alcoholic. He didn't much get it. My mother was a beautiful, wonderful woman. Uh, she worried all the time. And when I'd go out the door, she'd worry. She'd be the one to come and see me in jail. She'd be coming and see me at work house, reform school, go to court with me and everything. So she was a loving, caring, wonderful woman. But uh, I left the house when I was like 18. So when I got married. I was in uh, reform school for uh, for fighting, drinking. How old were you? 
uh, 16, 17, and there were three girls that, I was, that were writing me letters. His sister, Sharon, Marilee, and Pat McGinnis. And Pat McGinnis, I was going told me that, you know, you can't have three girls writing to you, you can pick one. So I sat on my bunk that night and I go through all these letters and I said, I'm going to take the letter that makes me feel the best. So it was Mary's letter. So hers had the more soul to it or something. It was just, she, she just was different. And so I said, all right, that's the one I'll so they signed her up and so forth. They didn't want that. Yeah. We ended up getting married in December 54 years.